welcome back it's been a while um, I'm headed to a blank thermostat call so this is a piece of equipment we installed I believe it was last year uh, we actually just did a aero seal repair on this equipment uh, last week and the homeowner called us last night and stated that their thermostat was blank so headed there now go through that when i get there and just a little side note uh, i've been doing this uh, in the hvac trade for uh, right around 20 years uh, troubleshooting installations repairs uh, new construction installations and we do some light commercial but mainly residential and the purpose of this channel and most of these troubleshooting videos is going to be to help people who are getting into the trade who are new to the trade or maybe aren't confident in their troubleshooting abilities to kind of scan through find something that they're not familiar with out of our somewhat small library of videos right now and help them kind of go through it so if you've got you know a lot of experience and uh you don't agree with something we're doing hey that's great feel free to offer your you know advice i'm always open to that but let's keep the negativity to a minimum um, this isn't a a, a competition I'm just trying to help the trade and help people who are getting into it uh, learn something on their own time anyway catch back up with you when we get to the call all right so we got this blank thermostat we're gonna work backwards here make sure see if this has power you got your transformer out in the unit that should be if it's getting its 240 volts on this system should be producing 24 between the R wire and the C wire and this is stripped down too far, but it's not touching anything else bare, so it's fine. Voltmeter set to VAC. And we're getting nothing. So we're gonna move to the system outside. So on this gas pack, this is the electrical access panel here. We're still on VAC. And you can see here the board's blinking. And then up here, this is the transformer. Get this down here where you can see it a little better maybe. And then we've got your high voltage leads are on the top up here. So we're gonna put a lead on here and one on the other side and then we're going to check and see if we're getting 24 volts with the leads here and it's i can feel it buzzing so yep 240 and we're getting 27 volts out of the transformer and the 5 amp fuse is blown right here so grab one of those so we got our fuses here and then we've got this little popper which is just a resettable fuse um I don't think taking that panel off is going to make getting to that any easier. So you can kind of see that there's a little score mark in there. If you can't tell, you can always set your voltmeter to continuity with the beep, which is going to be 
this setting on this particular voltmeter and when you touch your leads together you get a beep meaning it has continuity or basically that electricity will pass through it we're not getting that on this fuse because this fuse is bad and you can just throw another fuse in there if you want to but there's got to be a problem that caused it to pop in the first place and I would suggest you turn the power off to the equipment while you do this I'm just a little more risque okay it's holding let's go see if the thermostat is powered up which that light is on it says normal operation I want to say it was yeah we're getting one flash which says right here check fuse all these connections look good all right thermostats on I think there's a way to test it so we're gonna go into installation settings test equipment okay we're gonna do AC stage one I heard it kick on and this is a gas pack so there's no reversing valve so everything that's going to be energized on the low voltage side should be energized and this is a two-stage air conditioner heard it ramp up okay off we're gonna go to heat stage one and if it tripped the fuse it would immediately make the thermostat go blank because this thermostat is powered by the equipment um, and we do that on all our thermostats you only have to put batteries in your thermostats when there is no common wire going to the thermostat from the equipment putting batteries in it will not make it work if it's blank Okay, and no need to energize the fan only because we've already energized the fan. Um, and then the dehumidification is just an extra wire that only works when, uh, when there's a call for cool. Okay. All right. All right, so obviously little popper didn't trip. So we're gonna pull this out and put a new fuse in. Put this back up. And I think what we took out of here was a three amp I know a lot of guys are going to be like, oh, you need to go back in with a 3 amp. I have never carried 3 amp fuses. I always carry 5. I've never had a transformer or a board burn up. Um, ever. So, I just carry the 5s. Because obviously, if it had a 5 amp fuse and all you've got is 3s, it's not going to work. And my big old fingers <laughs> I 
Hey. Fell down in here in the heat exchanger. Really, you need a pair of angled needle nose pliers for this. All right, back in there. So, homeowner said we had a thunderstorm. Um, actually, the night of the morning before he realized that the thermostat was blank. So, a small little power surge or something like that may have been what caused this fuse to blow. I've seen that before. But, being this is a easy call take you through what steps you'd need to go through if say you put that fuse in or you put your little popper in and it popped it so i would this is a package unit so all of your thermostat wires are going to be right here so these smaller wires which are attached here or what's running to the thermostat. I would turn the power off to the equipment and disconnect all of these. So you would take the wire net off of all of them and disconnect them, except for R. So whichever color wire is being used for R here, it's gonna be red. That's typically what we use. I would still take the wire nut off of it and then once you get that, power the equipment back up with your new fuse or your fuse testing device in there and then connect C. If it doesn't pop the fuse, you're good. Leave the wire nut on your C wire. Then one by one, take the wires, your low voltage wires that are going to the equipment, not your wires going to the thermostat and touch them one by one to R. So imagine that all of these are disconnected like this You've got all of your low voltage wires that are going to the thermostat down here. In fact, let's just go ahead and do it. So it's not really gonna matter if any of these touch other than R because R is what's supplying the power to them. All right, so, and then we got Y in here. So our black wire is our second stage of the cooling. But we've got our wire nuts here. Okay, we didn't blow the fuse, we're just C connected now. We have everything disconnected except R and C. Fuse is still good. Again, this is hypothetical. You would take and one by one, we would touch, uh, where's G? G's right here. We touch G to R, that's calling for the fan. It didn't blow the fuse. I hear the fan come on. So obviously there's no issue with the fan. It didn't blow the fuse. Connect that back. And make sure that nothing's touching R and that R doesn't touch ground while you're doing this or it'll pop the fuse. Then we would take and touch white which is going to be your heat fuse didn't pop the uh, force draft fan for the exhaust on the furnace is on it would trip the fuse already so we're not going to go through the entire heat cycle there's your igniter there's your flames so we're producing heat once the temperature in the heat exchanger reaches what it's set to the fan would kick on now we're going to disconnect that so we know that w is okay we'll put our wire nut back on that okay and then we're just going to touch the compressor wire to it which is y all right compressor kicked on condenser fans on we're good. I'm not going to do second stage. We're just going to treat it like all oh, that was good. So if you're doing this and 
let's say why blew the fuse or blew your fuse tester all right i would go ahead and replace the fuse or reset your tester and check the rest of the wires so you know which all wires have an issue all right and let's say you go through that and what happened here once you get them all connected back you turn it on and it pops the fuse i would be checking for a short in your thermostat wires or just replace your thermostat wire going from the equipment to the thermostat and the way you check for a short is basically disconnect all of these wires from the equipment and check for continuity between them with your thermostat off that's probably a lot of information i'll have to do another video on that but you basically want to check continuity between all of the wires to make sure that you know they're not touching each other somewhere in this jacket if you get continuity between them that means somewhere between here and the other end they're rubbing together and touching and they're shorting out so when the thermostat sends voltage through one it's energizing another or maybe it's touching ground which draws too many amps and pops the fuse uh, but if you are let's say you connected y back to this from the equipment to r and it popped the fuse so what does y do it engages this contactor it also goes through the board so i would disconnect your low voltage from your contactor reset your fuse or replace your fuse power the unit up call for why if it pops the fuse with this disconnected you know it's something in this board if it doesn't pop the fuse 99 percent of the time it's going to be the contactor and you can find the manufacturer specs on the contactor ohm out the low voltage coil but that's something for another video i'm just helping you trace down uh shorts and this method would also work on a split system um being that your transformer is in the air handler, you would again disconnect all your thermostat wires going to the, yeah, you just disconnect them all and then connect your Y to R, your W to R, your G to R, go through the same sequence and the same setup applies in a split system. Um, and whenever I run across a short in a contactor or a board, I'll make sure to do a video.